Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Hadaful Boyfriend Holiday Star. I'm Camchek Fisco. Come join me for our new feathery adventure. The clouds are parting. Good work. But of course, have I ever failed? Uh, actually, yes. You, you did. Uh, several chapters back. Now, oh beautiful full moon, show us your lovely form. Yeah, moon, shake it if you got it. I, the king said don't leave me. Don't leave me behind. It, I, what is this? This must be some sort of joke. I'm not dreaming. Is this not reality? It is. What you and I are seeing should be real anyway. The hell? Then what is that hideous thing doing up there? It's not the moon, it's a monster. You pissed it off when you shot it with the laser gun. The king made an egg. A giant, enormous egg. A giant black egg to hide the kingdom away. Is... Miss Fisco... Ugh. Miss Fisco. Ah! What a crazy dream, huh? It's a little early to say that. A nightmare isn't over yet, mon ami. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Not after you said all that flag-raising stuff, you yeah. Things certainly look a little different, at least. It's pitch dark all around us, and quiet. There's no sound apart from our voices. It got bright, and there was this, there was that earthquake, and then the king showed up out of nowhere. What happened? I'm not entirely sure myself. I think we can safely say that the king fellow doesn't want us leaving, though. I think he shut us in. This is, this is kidnapping. Hey, Mr. King, what kind of VIP tribune is this? I don't want any of it. There's no reply. Just a cold, dark abyss. What do we do? Mageki? Yuya? Are the others okay? The king doesn't want to let any of us go. So he's probably trapped the others in here, too. Of course. We can't see anything. Just when I thought this couldn't get any weirder. So we can't. I can just barely make out Nageki and Yuya, but if they step back even just a little, I'd lose them. We can't see what's a wall and what's a corridor. We'll never find any... Hey there, in a bit of a bind, eh? Oh. Mr. Migrant Bird. It's good to get stuck like this. Be troubled as much as you can while you're still young. Now isn't the time for friendly old man wisdom. You know him. Well, we've bumped into him a few times. He's just a hungry old man. A hungry old man? That's a depressing way of putting it. Professor Nineke and the doctor are the only two adults that's asleep on the roof. What's going on here? You're a migrant, right, mister? Do you know how to get out of here? Oh, I haven't the slightest. If you're gonna show up right when we're stuck, can't you at least be useful? <laughs> I've never been good at sticking to the goal. I just wait for the wind to blow and head wherever that smells like tender grass. There's no need for you young folks to be in such a hurry, either. Why not take a break for a change? We appreciate the thought, but alas, we're a little short on time right now. We're one step away from being a permanent vegetative state, after all. We're still alive. We shouldn't be here. Well, I may have come here naturally. Hmm. Oh, is that right? I thought there was something odd about you. So you came here early by mistake. I like living fast. Hmm. Yes, that does sound like a problem. Are only dead birds supposed to come here? No, that's not it. Don't look so down. You weren't far off. Really, this star isn't a place anyone should come to. What do you mean? So it's not where we end up when we die. Birds who pass their names to the stars wander to the night sky. There are any number of places to see. But there are also stars like this, stars which aren't stars. It's a bit like him and Tuffid's light, if you see what I mean. A him and Tophid? A lure for prey, or something like that. It's a real problem. 
If I get stuck on a fake star like this, I can't continue my journey. I've got to find a way out. I'll take a look around. Oh, I guess we're following the migrant out of here. Huh? It's not very bright, but I can see some starlight now. There are tiny stars everywhere. I hadn't noticed them before. Your eyes are getting used to the darkness. See? A little break now and then can help too. He's right. My eyes are used to it now. We're standing in the center of a large round room with two doors. Maybe everyone else is through those. But we can't tell where they lead. This is going to be a choice. I'm going to have to save. Oh, don't you have the map with you? We just got shut in here. We didn't get to bring a strategy guide along. But doesn't the Morning Dove there have a planisphere? Yes, I have it. There's your map. Nageki's planisphere? It's a very nice planisphere, but studying constellation now will really... Okay, how does that help? And... Egg? Oh, we're seeing the egg in the night sky. Okay, I get it now. I wasn't... I was... I didn't realize that was the moon it was throwing me. It looks a little like a dark nebula. That's a bad egg. And when an egg turns black, it's rotten. Black is the color of the poor chick who died before hatching. We're just a bit above the very bottom now. Oh, so we're here. The stars lights up our souls. So these are the people we have to find on the way out. So that would be what? Yuya? Or not Yuya, that would be Sakuya. Ryuda, Sakuya, uh, Okosan, Kazuyaki, and Shu, I would guess. Although, for some weird reason, the bird, the little birds aren't here, unless that's the two little birds. I think that's everybody. Anyway. The stars lights of bird souls. Burning bright and happy even in the dead egg. So, you want to get out of here? My job is to find everyone and get out, yes. I think I'm ready to go home. And I want to see tomorrow. Look, we're one step closer to hatching. Chicks grow teeth to help them tear out of their shells and into the new world. We only need them that once. With them we can break out of the shell by our own strength. No matter how tough the shell is, it'll break eventually. If the chick is alive, it can break free. This is a false star. That wasn't a real light you saw. That was a lighthouse luring wanderers in from the Milky Way. A false star is a dangerous thing. Once you're in it, it can be hard to get out. It's scary. Break the shell and burn down the false light. The morning dove there can do it. After all, he's got all the answers. Answers? I see. So all this is fake? Do you have a plan, Nageki? No, not really. I just know what the king was thinking when he made this place. I know why he took one of our stars, and I know why only I can break it. If I can, that is. Somehow. Well, good luck. You, that, you just, wait, you're just gonna leave? Wait, can you explain a little more? Ah, two ladies going. Jeez, no one likes a key character who just shows up with a whole bunch of gnomic advice and that doesn't actually say anything useful. No, no, mon ami. At least he gave us some hints, right? And that's cause for... Oh my god, now I'm slipping into that. At least he gave us... Um, good luck, mon ami. At least he gave us hints, right? And some cause for optimism. God, I keep slipping into the accent now. I can't break it. No, no, mon ami. At least he gave us some hints, right? And some cause for optimism. And some cause for optimism. I can't break free of this voice. He said that I could do it. Well, at least the gnomic and hungry old man gave Nageki some clear assurance. Reassurance. Your plans for your sure turning out to be useful, Nageki. A little above the very bottom. So we're right here. And there are two stars nearby. Oh, so we're the bottom star. And if the stars are what he said, we should be able to find everyone else if we aim for the stars. Let's hope so. And there are two suspicious stars up at the top. The false lighthouse? That must be the light we saw from the plaza. The red one is the false light? Or is the yellow one the false light? And from what he said, we need to break it. Alright. Now then, we'll need to head up both sides. This looks like a good time to split up. Don't you think? 
Happens all the time in longer dungeons than RPGs. I'm ready to roll. Protecting the ladies is always my first priority. I'd like to go with you, mon ami. But I'll go alone. It's what I do. You'll be safer if you have the map, after all. Oh my god, I can't not give you uh, the accent now. You'll be safer if you've got the map with you, after all. Stop that. In Russia, we do... You'll be safer if you've got the map with you, after all. Take care of her, alright? Right. Well, the king very kindly trapped us all in the gigantic evil Doomeg. Will we escape from the dream of our lives? Of course we will. After all, this place is crazy. What kind of place doesn't have morning radio aerobics? And so we split up, Nikeki and me going through one door, Yuya going through the other. We'll wake everyone up from the stream and smash this rotten egg from the inside. Yuya's already off and get, getting stuff done. We better move along too. Right. He does seem pretty professional sometimes. He even has a real gun during that time at Christmas. Maybe he really is with the FBI or something. No, he's a secret agent. I'm opening the door. Are you ready? Bring it on! That's bright. The Lying Picture Book. Once there was an Oko-san. There was something that Oko-san wanted to find, no matter what. So he ran to the ends of the earth. Oko-san was very fast. He could run anywhere. He ran everywhere. At the end of the earth was a giant hole in the ground. Oko-san fell into the hole. No one remembers Oko-san now. Poor Oko-san. Poor Oko-san. What the fuck?! Cool. Oko-san is the pudding god! Oko-san is the god of Mount Pudding! Oko-san! Hostage confirmed. Moving to secure. Oko-san, let's get out of here, okay? Cool. Oko-san used wing attack. It's super effective! Ow! Ow, Oko-san, that hurts! Calm down and listen to me. Cool. Oko-san! It's not Oko-san! Oko-san is the god of Mount Pudding! You're not being particularly benevolent, God, either way. Yeah, Oko-san. A god has to listen to the voices of the downtrodden common people. Cool? Really? Yes. Cool. Oh. In that case, Oko-san will listen to three centimeters. Oko-san, this pudding isn't real. You have to kiss it goodbye and come back to reality. Cool. Silence! So three centimeters is about ten seconds. Looks like it. Oko-san, calm down. This crummy thing isn't pudding you've been searching for all these years. Cool! Pudding is pudding! What does Cam check? No, but pudding! I don't know anything about pudding! Uh... Think about it, Oko-san. Is the pudding you seek something I could understand? Of course not. It's something beyond and above. Something completely outside my comprehension. Whenever you talk about pudding, it's like it's the meaning of the universe, or a final secret of the Earth, or some sort of cult deity. No matter how hard you try to explain it, I just don't get it. I still don't know what the pudding you're looking for is. But I understand that this is not something you can find just like that. Cool. Of course not. Pudding is an amazing treasure. This doesn't strike you as odd, then? How could you have found the amazing treasure without doing anything? Who? What have you been training for all these years? Haven't you been training so you can find the pudding which sleeps forgotten at the end of the earth? You couldn't possibly find a treasure like that this easily. It's a trap, Oko-san. A fake. You have to remember, Oko-san. Remember the pudding you seek. Before we know it, we're standing in a room just like the one we started. Was everything we saw in here just an illusion created by the king? Probably, yes. He was hoping to hold us back. Ku, Oko-san has remembered. Ku, true pudding is the universe itself. But it cannot be found in this universe. It is infinite. I don't think I follow. Don't worry, I don't either. Ku Ku Sun must return to Earth and seek the true pudding. The wall cracked. We must be breaking the shell, like the migrant said. 
Oh, I get it. When someone starts thinking, I want to go home, the egg cracks a little. Doesn't look like that it will crack anymore, though. We probably couldn't break it by hand. We'll need to keep going forward. Cool. The sun is going boom. Okasan wet. Okasan gallops off into the darkness, snorting and cooing with excitement. Well, probably take care of themselves just fine. Probably. My eyes are getting used to the darkness again. I can make out the door opposite from where we came in. Who will we find in the next room? My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, kill the video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everybody.